not the greatest weapon for range. The Stinger will mainly just gain him information. Rob Wiz, however, does have the Marshal available. Could be able to do a little bit more. Nice shot from Wardell, though. Ready making things a little bit more costly. This isn't a round where it seems like the defensive side have put too much into this one. So you can expect some rifles to be coming up in the next round. I think it's important, though, that even on an individual level, we see... So those sort of aggressive plays that we like to see from Built by Gamers. So it's worth mentioning that obviously they do run both a Rainer and a Jet on this map. So in terms of actual utility, TSM are going to have them trumped in a lot of cases. Like those two agents, sure you do have the smokes available to you, but mainly they're used for getting the openers, gaining space. Now sure, if, if those two players can pop off, this can work. If not, they will eventually get choked out of a lot of these rounds. Of course this one, not really expecting too much. As said, TSM haven't really invested much into it, but keeping four players alive. Watch where the paranoia's put the leers. It's all placed perfectly. It's just whether a case of TSM's bunkered up comp on this B site in Boathouse, he gets some damage done and stop it from going in. Drone trying to hold in the back lines. He is going to be able to get the first pick. Even just damage being done here, though, could be hugely valuable, but Drone, he's looking to hold down the line. Two kills, though, still an even trade. And that's some extra weaponry actually picked up for the side by BBG. This round isn't out of the realms of possibility, especially with the flank that's currently coming in as well from Bior. There, there's a chance that he could do some serious extra damage. In fact, he's already picked off one. He gets the kill onto Cutler as well. And considering this was their bonus round, Sabrosa, so I'll admit, I've loved him on the Omen so far. But this would have to be one hell of a play if he's going to get them out of this spot. Aldron's going to try and locate where he is, does eventually find him right at the end. Sabrosa possibly aiming to try and get him for a ninja defuse, go into the site as everybody's trying to leave, but it's keeping built by gamers there. The issue is, is Sabrosa was too health, there was a nano snap. TSM might fall into a bit of a pit, as some teams do. When upsets happen, Cloud9 especially, back in the day, were caught out by that kind of thing. But they're just trying to put some pressure mid, but they don't expect Sabrosa right in this corner. Beautiful shot with the Sheriff. Yeah, you can never really count out TSM from any round. So they've, they've got to be pretty careful here. But I like the fact that we're seeing this sort of pacey style that BBG have shown when they're up against lesser opponents. They're still bringing it in. Because that's what we saw from Exit yesterday. Was They looked like they weren't even playing their normal style. Now it's another pick coming up for Hazed. This round in isolation, already a pretty decent success. They've made things at least costly. The real question is whether or not they can actually do some more damage. Can they take some more guns away or could they even steal the round altogether? Now, Will is in a, a fairly aggressive position, but in terms of weaponry, he does have an inherent advantage. Good flash through is going to leave him completely blind and actually isolate all three players into the site. Even if they were just going for exits, they could try and trap these players in. But I think at this point, TSM are fully looking to try and go for this. Sabrosa picks off one, but it's at a trade of two teammates. And the aftershock will clear the close angle, but they're not finding any of the frags. And it will eventually be Will to close the round. Three players lost for Built by Gamers. A new addition. And even Hunter's Fury is going to try and clear out some of the site. It does actually tag somebody onto the back. Ooh, it gets Cutler. Okay. That's a great opening, but Sabros is in a nice position here to punish. Yeah, they're just going to play off this, running straight out into the A site. Sabrosa, as you said, has managed to catch one and will even break the door before they can take it. And more importantly, look where the spike is. That is a Horrible. pretty horrific position to try and reclaim from. They know the sub rose is just around the back of the angle, but they will manage to catch him, almost using the Aldrone as bait. The problem is they didn't actually get the spike or move it back. Nice shot from Critical, though. Now, this is a rough clutch, but if he could make it work, it would be a huge start to the game. It's not going to be happening, though. Drone closes. El Sabrosa is there on Cubby 2. Position not given up by the Eldron, actually. He catches out Will. Bit of a misplay there from Build by Gamers. Waddle could get out Scott free without being punished at all by the attackers. Yeah, if there's one man you don't want to leave unchecked, it, it's probably Wardell. I will have to say that in, in some of their recent matches, Sobrosa has definitely been keeping up with him, though. He hasn't been the, the sort of hard carry we saw sometimes in the past. This round, though, he's looking to try and maybe do it all on his own. Looking to try and destroy the lockdown, which he will. Now, well, as you mentioned, there's been some problems where they get a little bit stuck in the mud. Sobrosa is actually got a wide face. Definitely feeling confident. 
And while in a five versus two situation, you can understand why. It does give them some space to try and back through mid. But there's a real chance that some of these players are going to get isolated. Hayes makes an aggressive play. And, well, luckily for him, he trades one for one. If he went down there, it would have been a bit more of a problem. However, for Foe, I, I just don't see how he gets away with this. The aggressive positioning that's already been taken left. by Cutler is going to make things nigh on impossible. And he's got to get past this corner of Wardell first. And, oh, you know what? He's got away with that. However, Cutler, idea of roughly where that's coming from. But realistically, the rest of the team have now actually opted to pressure onto that open mid position. They're going to get scanned up, though. That's a hell of a lot of information going back the way of TSM. Oh, big Although They kill. are going to teleport back in. That's Haze down. And now they can actually clear out the remainder of the site again. It's going to be an advantageous situation on this B side. And as you mentioned, they've looked pretty solid here so far. And the lockdown's not in play as well. So that pick up to Haze just means that they've got such a bigger opening. No ultimates available for TSM for this retake. They are stretched across the map, but it's where this silver is. This is where Critical is going to be playing from. Drone's going to try and flank around, but if he can keep being annoying, Will can at least get one. Now it's just going to be the two on site pretty much trying to take this fight. How much can Foe do on his own right at the back? TSM are coming in. There is a Hunter's Fury available. Can't be many flashes left from Vice as well. Cutler, nice shot to clear it. There's plenty of time for the defuse. Really good retake from TSM. They didn't have much. They expected Wardell on the top right here. Drone is there to set up a little bit of a crossfire at least, so they should be good for one. Not looking in that direction. Yeah, it's just going to be a massacre. Not a big buy for Built by Gamers either, I don't think with a couple of Spectres and Stingers. This is already not looking good for the attacking team. And these switch-ups in positions have definitely now caught them out a few times. Wardell has been all over the map. He's had pressure in mid, playing towards A. I think maybe we haven't seen him on the B site, but I guess that's normally the one you lock down with all the different utility. Is he leaving the spike? Must be. Trying to wrap around, potentially. Maybe even if they could just pull a few of TSM away from the site, but clearly they must see that that's the spike on the ground. They are not moving. They're not going to go try and hunt. That's a big thing about these top seeds in the groups is they have been respecting their opponents. There's not really been too many upsets of an in Gen G, but there's still uh, an adjustment period, I suppose. So Bros is watching, but gets traded out by Critical in the meanwhile. But they know where he is. It's a case of if he could get a frag potentially at this point, that's all he can really hope for, I think. Yeah, I, I feel like there's more of a reason. He's gone pushing all the way through A. So this is so much information that he's already gathered up for the rest of his team. They don't really need to hold any players here. And Sobrosa now takes the spot in mid Ooh. instead. What? I don't even know how he gets two kills there, but we're going to move on as the rest of the team are trying to make their way in towards this B site. They're getting hit by a Hunter's Fury and they are being absolutely slaughtered. A flawless round for TSM. It seems like... Corner. But does it check oh. that one? That's where Sabrosa <laughs> no, is. Everyone. Not again! <laughs> Come on! Important. Oh, I can, what? Two rounds in a row! Are you kidding me? Oh, Sabrosa just to stop. This is filled! He gets four. Doesn't quite manage to close out with the ace, but... Oh, uh, I'm sure he's going to have a cheeky grip. Oh, and they've detected... Oh, don't! Don't! Don't do it, Tim! Come on! This is just mean! Critical suffered enough. Oh, uh, Hayes. Relax a little bit, play in these positions. He gets another one because of course he does. Fortunately, Foe puts him out of his misery before he could do too much damage, but it's a free versus free. A hundred Fury is available on this attack. It would be great if they could make the 7-5 because it's been TSM for the last eight rounds. Yeah, I'm not holding my breath. Like, just individual duel after individual duel. Will's... Empress gets shut down within a matter of seconds. It's it's always painful to see that happen. You save up all your lovely alt points and then one bullet to the face is all it takes. Now Hayes is slowly getting isolated. Doesn't manage to find nice. a pick, but does some extra damage onto the omen at least. The remaining two players though are already here on a rotation. No ultimates available other than foes into the shadows but realistically I, I don't know how useful that's going to be maybe just for information he might be able to find out something maybe he's actually going to go back to the spawn but doesn't spot anybody rotating that's because they're already far closer than they might expect the oh wow through the wall as well so much information gathered and that gives him the ultimate but 
It misses slightly. It may not matter though. They're both pushing him at once. It's on to Rob to try and hold this. A 1v2 to give them a fifth. He's left so blind. And it just seemed like in that retake, every single little detail, every piece of utility by TSM was used to perfection. It was really good. One that can get fairly easily overwhelmed, especially with how quickly you lose those bullets. And actually, we've got a hero weapon for Wardell going for the taps, and he's going to take down two already. Now the pistols do overwhelm that stinger, and things are starting to fall apart a little bit here. It gets traded over, and Bior's now the only man standing, trying to turn this back, and he has been able to find two. The man on the other side, though, drone, left with just a classic. He's got a flash. Fully healed up, though, but he gets him! That is filth! Just a couple of taps to the face and TSM with a single gun. Well, so Broza, he likes to get cheeky around mid. Oh, the timing from Will. I like the idea, but unfortunately, he gets caught off. By Sub Rosa's push through. Bior now trying to make another play through the smoke. Will he meet the same fate? Actually, no. I think he's going to catch out Drone. Nice. And even picks Ooh. back and gets three. I don't know how he gets away with that. But nonetheless, it leaves Cutler alone a minute. But he does have the spike. A side's open for business if you can get across. Spell by gamers might be happy to give it up. Just play pure retake. It's a side that they're really good on. They even have lockdown if they want to use it, but to be honest, is that likely? Probably not. They really don't want to use those ultimates. Godler might just want to try and save the gun. What a great round, though, by Bjor. That play was so quick, swinging around, punishing left. those flanks. After a really impressive lurk from Sub Rosa, who did exactly as we went over, smoked off the alarm bot, pushed past it, and caught up the defenders in that position. 20 seconds left. He's still moving towards the site, but there are two people looking towards it. More of an aggressive angle of Bjor in his corner. He'll be able to get more, but it's Foe that gets the frag. Game of Valorant, they're getting reported within, well, 0.3 of a second, which is wow. roughly how long it took for him to get that 3k. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> See you later, Waddell. Oh, I think Rose it was the member too. mode. It was the MMG game where Critical with the Odin was top fragging, I think. It was just a crazy performance. Rob Wiz has okay. mid in control. He has the spike. Critical wanted to check these corners and at least manages to do so as Drone is there lurking. Oh, the spray is good, but Will is there <laughs> to sort of peek him out again. And this is a buy from TSM. Wasn't the best economy in the world, but TSM are going to have to fight back in this afterplant situation. They will eventually get the spike down, but bear in mind, there isn't a whole lot of weaponry. I believe we might have a hero rifle in there as well. I, th I think Wardell... It seemed like he might have had a Vandal, but other than that, this is not a good position for them. Slowly being caught out into the corners. Probwiz will get rid of that rifle, and they're slowly being picked apart, but two kills come back. I'm hoping that's all, just for the second. If he wins this battle, then I think, I think I'll take the report onto Cutler as well, because a Stinger at that range, there should be no It's an almost identical play, but... They might be denied here. It's going to be the Hunter's Fury just being put back through, and that will get rid of the lockdown. That will stop them being forced off of the site. And bear in mind, in this afterplant situation, there's still a rolling thunder available for drones. So this could be a pretty rough situation for Built by Gamers to get back into. There is the rolling thunder forcing them out, but actually, they're going to be denied. The Nano Swarm holds them back. However, Sabrosa finds a pick, but he's alone at this point, and Cutler gets forced off the angle as well. We sit in a three versus three. Turret won't last long at all, and Rob Wiz has just managed to kill one off with the Classic, isolating both players under underneath the balcony however they're running through the smoke to find them and that's actually going to give hazed a couple of kills he's left on 70 hp the spikes ticking low and hazed is going to close out the round it comes very close for bbg tsm they don't want to go aggressively pushing through up until the point where those smokes have faded foe still in a very good position though it's an instant headshot from cutler however an opener that they needed and rob Wiz is going to re-aggress try and do it all on his own he's found two and he escapes as well left. a huge play from the jet and there's been a trade back still a 2v2 situation for the side of tsm and they will be able to get the after plant in now if there was any time 
to bring out the Empress. I feel like it's now. This is my oh, no. point. However, Drone has just pushed aggressively. He's taking those fights. He's looking to end it, but he won't quite be able to. And that's health back up for Will, leaving it into the 1v1. An almost instant headshot needed from Sub Rosa or all this classic can Ooh. do enough, and Will will keep it going. One more round at least, as it's a tenth. Some initial killjoy utility forces Rob Wiz back at least a millimeter, but then he goes pushing straight through anyway. This could be a problem. That's so much information gathered. He gets caught out by Wardell. Maybe becoming a little bit too predictable. His opponents have found him early. And we'll give them a 5v4. It forces the silver to be jump peeking from Fountain just to check who's mid. There is some rowers are there. He might be able to surprise him at this point. But Critical has been so good so far. You can hear where some rowers are is from the firing. So he has an advantage. But he has to vandal. His sprays are easily seen. So he can't stay there for long. The execute's going to come out from TSM. They have it from the shadows to teleport to the back of the site if they want to. <laughs> but no, he's lurking through. Bjor's going to be a pain on the judge. But look at Sabrosa's positioning. He stopped this rotation coming through. This is okay. a mess from Build by Gamers. But they're hanging on still. Yeah, there is that flank. Now, eventually, they will be able to get themselves the spike down. It was a, a little bit of calamity as they do eventually clear out the judge. And uh, the spray through the smoke, which was... Almost too perfect. The problem now is once again, we're looking at a, a map point, an initial take coming out from TSM and Will. He's one of the members left in this clutch situation once again. But they need to clear out Sub Rosa. It's going to be easier said than done. He's still lurking around the back lines, and I'm not sure they even know he's here at this point. Still just taking that time, and Bo, he will check it. Will's found a kill as well. It's left all onto Drone once again. This time, a slightly more favorable 1v1, but he still needs to hit his shots. Will trying to keep them in this map once more, but they're dancing back and forth. He's found the kill, but he doesn't oh, have, time. have the time. T I might be a bit slow to the party. Could maybe pincer and wrap around this push. Rob Wiz has no information to work with here. The Eldron got used. And the Recon Bolt's not going to be present because the Silver Critical is playing in the garage. But that's a lot of information as Rob Wiz is able to at least get one onto Wardell. Could get a second Ooh. and got so much information. Paranoid is going to come through for my foe and he's going to put a smoke there. Would force TSM to use a bit more utility to break onto this site. But even in a 3 versus 5, I'm still scared of TSM. I'm very surprised that they're even still trying to fight this. I guess it's because of the spikes position and somewhat being unable to get away. Also, as said, this is a bit of a bonus round, but you spotted the operator. And you even got the dart off to tell you that there was a second player there, and they just continue to try and challenge versus the likes of BBG. Well, this time, it's not going to be any heroics whatsoever. In fact, Cutler is just looking to try and hold on to this remaining rifle. I'm going to start putting pressure onto him. In fact, they'll clean up every single gun. Great round from BBG. A solid read from the Gensi Long. It's not a situation where I'd normally be calling for a save, but the fact is I don't see a way that BBG get back into this round, though. They're going to give it a go as they already start smoking off angles, throwing down lots of extra utility, but they'll have to line up onto the plant, or at least you'd expect Drone is already going to kill off one diffuser. And as they drop with this, three defenders from Built by Gamers. This is going to be a mess. The operator misses, and Drone is trying to get some damage in. Luckily, Cutler's there to sort of build him up, but Bjor Ooh. gets completely missed. He gets free. He just snuck by. This could be a crazy ace. What the hell is Bjor doing? Off to the site, find this little hobble hole that Wardell was in, and then another swamp can be <laughs> deadly. But he was expecting it. This kind of level of experience built by gamers, you've got to do a little bit better in those scenarios. Already, they've got someone on the defusal, but eventually he will be killed off. They've got it to halfway though, so bear that in mind that they could still get this defusal through, and they are picking sticking it. them apart. Thing a nuisance with Wardell and the operator. They've got drone pushing up A. This is a big ask, and that is a big loss of Rob Wiz with the operator going down. Yeah, they've got to be careful. They can't give too much ground over to Wardell, otherwise things can quite easily fall apart. Critical. Ooh. It's going to do a fair amount of damage. Oh. It actually almost traces him through. Wardell caught out, and now the man advantage swings into the favor of BBG. They've started to put on a real show, but they have lost the A site. 
spike slowly rotating in and some counter utility will deny them at least for the moment they've got to be careful because he stood right in the nano swarm has a second one but unfortunately i don't think it's quite going to reach the plot but they actually have shock guards going over the top as well a combination of utility making things so awkward for tsm in fact it's actually quite hard to tell where the offense is going to be going. The main reason for that is that Wardell has managed to sneak his way all the way through. And it's the Bladestorm to find two quick headshots. Now they clear out Bjor and it's left on to Rob. The turret's actually going to help him out though. Bjor after death is going to have the turret picking off one. This gives a much better opportunity for Rob Wiz. And he might be able to catch a player if they cross. But a smart use of the Blaze will deny him any information about where these players have gone. He can gamble, he can guess. They probably head in the direction of Long. The, the thing is, though, the plant is not ideal. So in fact, bro. he might just want to look to stick the defuse. But there is the Hunter's Fury tagging him down. He manages to dodge away from it the second time. And actually, now it's utilized. He can just go back to the plant. He's trying to bait them in, but I think he could have just stuck that one. Instead, he opts to kill off Drone and tries to get his way back towards the defusal. Maybe his opponent... I think they could take it. This is a huge improvement to this team. They're going up against players like Drone, but he's the one that gets the first bit of damage in, and it's spray control practice, but they trade out. Three versus three, but look how low health Fo and Rob Wiz are. They don't have much going for them right now. A lot of reliance is going to go on to Will to the point that I think they give him the bigger gun. This would be a great round for him to show up on. And the main star players of TSM, those heavy fraggers at least are out of it for now. So that's how well this support backbone of Sub Rosa, Cutler, and Hazed could do in a really close 3v3. Yeah, they, they've got the weaponry advantage, though. Of course, this is more of a bonus round for BBG. So although it would be huge for them to win it, they'll still be able to buy into the next round. So wouldn't necessarily be the end of the world. But let's see what they can do here. Of course, as you mentioned, they have some low HP players and Will is going to have a lot of work to do. They are almost forcing a fair few rotations to now come out from TSM. They've gone checking into mid, the plays into B. And the site is going to go their way, but Sub Rosa's paranoia is perfect. And that's a spike. The spike's gone running through. That's a critical error coming out from BBG. That's round over. There's nothing you can do, and Sub Rosa will punish them for it. You definitely don't want to be giving the situation after losing his teammate. But this is hyper passive from BBG. Well, they've given up an awful lot of control, but I like this. They're going to go back towards the seaside after giving up that early control. Critical's able to pretty much clear every single angle, and unless some divine entity guides Sub Rosa's bullet to a head, they're going to have a clean afterplant situation with not much for the opponents of TSM to take with. Those plant positions are good for build by gamers. Really wanted to play C long and TSM still considering it. Put some pressure in and wanted to push off the recon bolt, but it's a nice little counter for critical just to keep them glued on. Drone wanted to make a play and Rubwiz is gonna flank in behind to do a little bit more damage and he's able to. Four versus two, there's no real reason to save if you're TSM because it's just sheriffs. Build by gamers are taking that a lot more dominantly. But Cutler's still able to do a little bit of damage at least as the spike is going to deploy built by gamers taking the lead in this one. Can he run back in and get a gun? That's the question. He's being flanked. Never mind. <laughs> going to throw straight away. He puts in the Hunter's Fury. Does a hell of a lot of damage. And Drone, he's gone for the same play. This time with a lot more risk behind it. As he didn't have the run it back. He didn't have the ultimate. But he had a lot more success. The spike is on A long. Critical was the nearest to it. That is the third victim of drones. Amazing round so far. Sub Rose, a nice patient play. He isn't going to necessarily spot. Yeah, never mind because Bjor's gun just peeks around the smoke. Another potential flawless round for TSM. As soon as Build by Gamers just take the lead for the first time for a long time since Ascent. TSM turned it up two flawless rounds in a row. Clear, so... They can start gambling players onto the other side of the map. Sure, if the push comes in quick enough, it may not matter too much. But Hayes is going to wrap around the angle. First kill goes his way. He corrects his spray as well to clean up three quick picks. He's looking for the ace, but unfortunately, it gets away from him.
already. We've seen too much of in this game so far, but Will has had some pretty tasty moments, at least in the first map. Hayes did Sub Rosa, though, already going to turn this into an absolute slaughter. Last man standing, and it all looks too easy. This TSM has come from absolutely nowhere. The right ran finals in December for these teams, and they're not letting it slip. They don't look fearful at all, but this is a nice opportunity to keep Bell by Gamers in it. The lockdown is going to be in play, but this is going to force TSM to play a little bit more aggressively. Wardell is playing chicken with the ultimate. If he can get the kill on to Bior, he's going to push for more, but he doesn't necessarily expect Critical to be guarding it with his life. It's a three versus two. The lockdown's going to go on. No players are detained, but Sub Rosa's on a mad flank again. Cutler trying to get a frag, and he does with the shock dart. <laughs> okay. That's a great shot onto Critical. And now it's these two duelists on the side of BBG trying to make a play at this point. Can at least get Sub Rosa on the flank. You would imagine to be able to take Cutler too. Oh, the shock dart almost does enough to at least give him an even scenario. But the drop down will spam can be fairly dangerous. If anybody does go facing into mid early in the round, then it looks like we all might be about to do that. He's met by the Odin, absolutely ruins his day in the early stages. Wardell on his operator has picked off one as well. They'll take a five on three advantage within the first 15 seconds. A foe, he's being pushed as well. He's got to be careful. He does manage to trade things back slightly, but here comes the ultimate from Drone. He's gonna make a play forward, looking to try and get in the faces of his opposition. And although he'll spot the info, it's actually Sabrosa that's cleaning things up. Will to clutch it out. He needs a repeat of last map, and it is not gonna